Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and every week we're doing a community tip that we're getting, and we're voting our favorite one, or the one that we think uh, for us is, is really useful. And this tip came in this week from Michael Warner, and it's particularly useful for those that have to deliver stuff to spec, or if you want to check uh, how loud a track is. And uh, so it's a very useful trick. Uh, now, there are some plugins that do this. Uh, there's Ozone uh, Insight, uh, that can do it. There's also the Pro Limiter from Avid, and what uh, they uh, enable you to do, and there's several other plugins that do it as well, is tell you how the loudest point in the track. But uh, you might not have a need for something uh, that often, but you still need to do that. So, really cool trick from Michael Warren, as I say, and it's very straightforward, and it relies on using a option within Pro Tools called Strip Silence. Now, what strip silence is usually for is to go through a track and find all the gaps of, of audio and, and then uh, clean them out whether ever there's a gap. People use it on vocals to get rid of breaths and stuff like that. But this is a really cool way of using it. So we can go into this audio and, and a couple of things you need to appreciate is that uh, this is literally just showing you that this is just the height of the waveform. It doesn't actually show you anything in terms of, of the audio. But what this uh, trick he, he does is, is really brilliant. Uh, so what you do, strip silence is command U, and you open it up, and then you get this uh, threshold. Now normally you'd have it quite low because you're just looking for things like, if you look now here, you can see there that it's stripping the silence there at the end of the track. Uh, but what he suggests is if you keep pushing, that we'll get the the rest of these all need to be down to nothing. So strip uh, clip start and end pad and strip duration all need to be down. And if you start to move this up and keep moving it it starts to find the loudest point in the track to a point where if you keep going and going and going and going and going there minus one db so so one db under clipping now those are all the points where it's loudest on the track so what i can do as well if i want to actually see metering in this window which is what i do quite a lot is i go to a bus and bus five doesn't really matter what it is i've gone to bus five i'm gonna to have to go to a, actually i'll go to a stereo one five and six put that on and then i put that in pre and i press alt to get to zero db Give me the measurement on a scale because we don't get the scale here. Uh, Avid, if you're watching this, we'd I'd like to have the scale in the edit windows. Well, that'd be nice. I come by and sing you a so let's say you got a call and somebody needs something at minus six dB. So clip gain isn't going to change that because clip is live. What you can then do is you can go to audio suite gain. So minus one, so we need to get minus six dB. So we need to go here and go minus five, which is the difference, of course. And we'll put that in and render that. So we pulled it all down by minus 5 dB. Then we do this now, and it should give us a peak at minus 6. There we go. Minus 5, minus 6. Same positions, but now quieter. I come by and sing you a song. Cause I conversely if you want to get it back up again let's say you want it to minus 2 db so if currently you're working at minus 6 you go 4 db gain and we go render and there we have it and let's play a bit I come back. Great, great trick. Nice tip there from Michael Warner. Uh, big thumbs up. Uh, you get the eye lock this week and uh, look forward to getting more community tips and tricks. That's a great one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.